What's good with it, people? It's Coffee on the vid. Y'all know what it is, man. Some quick NFL news and some huge news. That's a fact, Jack. Just try to report on this on a quick stream, but it was all flucked up. So here we is right now. And what's going on, man, is the rumor mill is a buzzing about Cole Beasley coming back to Buffalo. But what I'm about to show y'all in a minute, like I, I, I really feel like this is more than rumors. You know what I mean? We've seen numerous times before when little deals is going down and whatnot. Players cult or not coaches agents even at times have like cryptically told us little messages via social media and listen Cole was never supposed to not be with this team man all that offseason drama with the treatment and the sickness and all that you know what I mean like things went bad it was what it was some league politics and all that Cole ended up wanting to get traded and whatnot but listen you see this um picture right here on the right that's coming from someone with a blue check right and they're saying that's Cole Beasley landing in Buffalo in the airport, man. And then um, in, a, in a moment when you're going to see it change to another image, you're going to see someone tweeting that they're like, yo, I think I just sat next to Cole Beasley on a flight from Baltimore to Buffalo. And it's a, it's not just a tweet, like a random tweet just picked out of the sky. Someone could have made up Cole Beasley like this tweet. You know what I mean? And uh, you see that right there. I think I just sat next to uh, Bees on my flight from Baltimore to uh, Buffalo right now. A week ago, two weeks ago, whatever, someone, Bills fans, let me know who it was. I thought it was Isaiah McKenzie, but I couldn't find the tweet anymore. Maybe they took it down to put it on here in this video. There was a tweet. Maybe it wasn't Isaiah. Maybe I, I was getting it twisted. But someone was like, yo, um. Bees, like just a random tweet. Bees, what's going on? What's good? What are you up to or something like that? And uh, Beasley responded like, oh, I, you know, I think he said just taking my kid to a, a football game or a soccer game or something like that. It was just real random. Got people kind of thinking then. But here we are uh, now and all this going on, man. Like, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just amped the fuck up. And I, I, I think Cole is here. I mean, I think Cole is going to be signed. We could see a deal tomorrow or something like that like come on bro he's in the airport the bees is back man and to me this is so huge man because for one like i said bees wasn't never supposed to go anywhere where this bills team is at right on the cusp of that super bowl ring that lombardi trophy beasley had so much to do with bringing this team back you know to where they are now you know what i mean and i'm telling you guys all that ish went in the off season like I said, where he was speaking out and he let it be known, like, I don't care if I get blackballed, man. Other players want to say the ish I'm saying, but they're not financially set like me. Right. Um, but then I don't know whatever happened, happened. Right. But then he sits out during the off season, a few weeks into the season, free agent. And then he, he goes uh, reportedly Brady hit him in the DM. Like, come on, bees, come fluck with me over here in Tampa. Like, come on, I don't know why Bees did that or whatever, but it only lasted one week. Reportedly, there was a little rift between them, you know, because Beasley felt like it was going to be like Buffalo, where he was one of the leaders of the team. You know what I mean? A veteran. He'd be in the huddle, giving input on play calling and all that and just different things. And, you know, Brady's like, this is my huddle. You know what I mean? With his uh, entitled punk ass, you know. I don't know. I don't like Brady. Y'all know that or whatever. I'm talking my ish. But for real, like he was pumped to go there. Like Brady reached out to him. And then after one week, one game, he's like, fuck out of here. I'm retiring, you know, which that made me think about this. So I'm like when he retired, did Tampa like dead that deal? Did they nullify that contract? You know, because that's what we ha had me thinking like, well, wait, will he still will they still have his rights? But I, they must have release him of that contract. I don't know. Because if you recall, he was originally signed to the practice squad and then they activate him to play in the game. And then, sorry guys, there's a chopper flying above. They activated him to play. Then they put him back down to the practice squad. And there was like all these uh, rumors and reports that the Giants were going to snatch him up off the practice squad because Brian DeBall was over there, you know, former Bills coach. You see Isaiah Hodgins just scored another TD with the Giants the other day, even though they lost, but it uh, didn't happen. He retired. And here we are now, man. Like here we are now at this point in the season and everything. Like, I don't know. This just couldn't be a better story, you know, like 
for Cole to come back. And, you know, it, we're banged up and everything. Injuries, whatnot. Cole's fresh. He's been chilling, man. He's 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 ready to go. And, you know, like I said, he should have never left. Um, it's almost like a storybook ending. Well, it will be when he comes back and, you know, we get that ring, man. Aside from being a leader and everything, like I was pointing out, man, Cole Beasley was like Johnny on the spot. Always open. Uh, someone pointed out in a lot of these discussions that are going on right now, man, like keeping drives alive and stuff like that. Cole Beasley would, you know, like he didn't drop a lot of passes, you know, sustaining drives, third down conversions. He played a big part in all that, man. So I don't know. This is just this is just great news. And I'm turned the fuck up. So comment and let me know what you guys think. Do you believe the hype? I mean, come on, man. That's him in the airport. That tweet. I sat next to Cole. He liked that tweet, guys. This is it, man. Go Bills. Let's talk. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.